he goes, there he goes. Can he make it? He's crashing. <laughs> Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today we're in Michigan at the Upper Peninsula and we're going to be looking for some Uperlites. So these rocks just look pretty much ordinary. I mean, you would never really pick this up from the beach as there's way more colorful stuff. But when you take this light here and you shine them on, you get a beautiful glow. Look at that. And what's happening here, now watch this when I actually turn the light off. <laughs> what? These are my favorites that I picked up over like a three-day period. So what's happening here is the UV light emits a radiation and the soda light bounces that radiation basically back to you. Look at the colors. I mean, this one's so bright, it just, camera doesn't even want to register it. On this episode, we're checking out Whitefish Bay, specifically Crisp Point Lighthouse. Now look at this. Looking down on Google Earth, you can see the lighthouse. And then to the right, we're going to travel, I don't know, one, two, five miles down this beach looking for the Uper lights. It's an absolute beautiful drive down this dirt road, but... It's a super long drive, probably about 30 miles or so on a dirt road. But look at this. Here we are, and you can see Lake Superior. All right, let's go. All right, we are at Crisp Point, and Matrix is ready. We just got out here. That was a nice, fun drive in. Not too bad, but you don't want to come out here if it's raining unless you got a four wheel drive. Check it out, there's the lighthouse. Let's go boy. And this is my first time here, so I have no idea what to expect. There may not even be rocks on this beach, but we're about to find out. Oh yeah, we got some rocks. So now we just gotta wait till the sun goes down. But I think I'm gonna go to the other side of the lighthouse here just because we can't get around all that rock berm. There's a nice little path here, a walkway that goes right around the lighthouse. So we're gonna check it out. Look at this, beautiful. The scenery out here is just epic. And I was able to come out right when the leaves were changing. So it was extra beautiful. So. Let's get on out to this beach. Check it out. We're almost there. You know Matrix is going to want to sniff around. Get her done, boy. So here we are. Look at this beautiful beach. Lots of rocks. Looks like it's going to be an epic night. There's no one else out even looking for these things. The two guys over there were just taking some pictures of the beautiful sunset. Look at this. I mean, they are thousands if not millions of rocks along this coastline so we're going to be able to find some i'm certain are you ready boy look at this and you can even see before it gets dark you can find some beautiful pieces this one loaded with jasper <laughs> that's epic i'm gonna get it you better get it we're almost ready to go now A little something here I learned from Eric Rintamaki. You can put some sort of tube, as you see here. You can use all kinds of variations so that when you're walking around, you don't have to take your backpack off. You just drop the rocks down in there. What? Look at this. It's getting dark, and it's time to start looking for these Uper lights. And look at this. Here we go. I found one. Look at this boy. Check it out. First one of the night. And you can see it has a beautiful glow. Oh, yeah. What? Check it out. Check it out. It's always fun to find them. I figured they'd be here, and they are at this location. All right. Let's find a few more. We have this awesome full moon, and we have an awesome Uper light right there. I love when the water goes over them. It makes them look like a hot coal. And here's something that you see as well. 
This is like sandstone or something. The camera's actually making it look a little better than what it should be, but this is what we're looking for, the soda light and cyanite. Go boy, you got it. You got it, go. Go ahead. There he goes, there he goes. Can he make it? He's scratching. <laughs> you got it, boy. Oh. Oh, he found a way. He found a way. All of a sudden, the rocks sort of just ran out on the beach. So I've walked almost a mile and still nothing. I'm going to keep walking. Hopefully, they'll turn back up. There's only a few here. Let's get her done, boy. Back into some rock sections. And I found something that every now and then I see a few of these. But normally, they're never this good. This is hands down the best one I've ever found. Check it out. You've got like these purple and pink colored glowing sections i'm not even sure what it is maybe feldspar maybe some fluorite but it is awesome look at that super cool i'm really enjoying this full moon because you can sort of see the rocks and there it is another one and this one's really saturated it's kind of like a constellation of color oh whoa whoa Better get it before the waves wash it away. Look at that. I mean, these things are just so fun to find. Oh, and check this out. It's kind of got like a, a area. All right, y'all, you're not going to believe what I just found. Using the UV light here, the largest Uperlite of my career. Check this thing out. What? It's huge. I don't even know if I can pick it up with one hand. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's like 10 pounds. The waves won't wash this one away, that's for sure. Look at this thing. It's so big, I might just have to hide it and come back and pick it up. All right, can y'all see that white rock right in the center? Look at this. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, totally, totally different coloring than any piece I've ever seen or found I mean I don't know it's got some of that blue purple colors it's got some reddish sometimes the red can be algae but I don't think that's what the case here definitely a keeper though what a unique piece now that is what we're talking about I've already walked like three or four miles up this beach now I'm going to turn around and walk back and on the way back, if you're ever looking, see what I'm pointing out here? You can find more Uperlites where the waves continue to wash them around, even on your way back. So always do that and check the surf area, because you never know. If you haven't noticed, a lot of these rocks, Uperlites, have all kinds of different patterns. This is what I like to call the snowflake pattern, one of my favorites. And this is a pretty good size one, too. Nice. Well, let's find a few more. It's getting late. Walked up, hid this piece because it was kind of the beginning of the dig. I'll show you. Check it out. There it is. Humongo. What? So it's a good idea. If you ever get anything huge or get a few big ones and you don't want to carry them and you just started now be careful no one sees you just go ahead and drop them off up here at the beach y'all this is huge biggest one I've ever found what a fun time that was now I got about an hour drive back to the campsite and here you can see some of the awesome and most best Uperlites I found on this trip. This was from a couple different locations, not just this night. But look at that piece. And be sure to like and subscribe because you don't want to miss the next episode where I found my first agates. These are so cool. Oh. <laughs> Dude, there it is. There it is. Jeez. 
Check that out. Oh, look at that side. What? If you're interested in some of my finds, check out the eBay page. Just Google search Ultra Rocks eBay and it'll take you right to it.